Yeah, so I got one this morning from my New Jersey client. I was calling the school, and the head of the, the head of the school accidentally answered the phone. Uh, we work with a lot of private schools, and they have nothing in place. They used to have someone on staff. Um, it was really good timing. I accidentally answered the phone. She said it was perfect timing. About 120 users. Um, like 60 iPads, uh, they're needing help with technology. Um, they have one location that's a little bigger in Jersey City, needing someone like you know twice a month that can be there to help the teachers when they have issues, faculty members when they have problems with their technology, kind of be there for them. Uh, they have two, possibly three locations um, that we can also you know once a month help them with and. It was just really good timing. We helped with schools, so it was kind of lucky that I caught her, but uh, we're trying to meet them in person next week. Um, and then I got one for my Sacramento client. Uh, it's a pretty good opportunity. It's like an RN home care facility. Um, their administrator was um, kind of let me know that it's kind of smaller on the 10 user end, uh, but they're needing help with just kind of troubleshooting, you know, every month, making sure their systems are all good in place and secure. Um, you know, we try to shoot for 15 users or above, but, you know, we'll, we'll hop on a call with them and see if we can help them and see, you know, maybe they'll expand and get bigger in the future. And it's always worth the conversation, so we're pretty excited about it. All right, so uh, today appointment for my client up in New Jersey. It is a 16 location, 130 user um, cardiology office, and they have a very experienced in-house team. However, they also, for the 16 locations, use an outsourced uh, company to do a lot of supplemental work. And they're not extremely happy with them, so they were very willing to take an appointment for a uh, company who maybe wanted to provide superior service to what they're currently getting. And I'm excited to see how it goes. All right, so got a really, really good appointment today for my client in Kentucky. It is a guy that I talked to a couple months ago. He was busy all of July. Wanted me to call back first week of August. I uh, called him a few times uh, this week and last week, and I got him on today. And he's ready to meet. It is uh, a healthcare facility. There are two locations, 35 users. They've been using an MSP for about 10 years, but they have a ton of staff that's just rotating in and out. They're getting new people. They don't know their system very well anymore. They had ordered parts, uh, new hardware like a year ago that they still don't have. So he's ready to make a change. Um, we set the appointment for next Wednesday. Uh, my owner usually doesn't go on appointments, but he actually wrote uh, some of the software or some of the system that they use. So he has like a very deep knowledge of what they're what they're using. And uh, so he's going out there on this one. And uh, so it's going to be our lead technician, my owner. Uh, it should be a really, really good appointment. Super happy. He's really happy about this. And it should go super well. Hopefully, we'll win their business. I just scheduled an appointment for my client out in Vegas. It's for a construction company. They're a bit smaller, only seven users. But they're not very happy with their current managed service provider. I have to call her at the right time. And she's pretty much ready to sign on with another company. So I got that set up for a Teams meeting with my client, Kelly. And I'm very excited for her to go on it. But back onto the appointment. Uh, I got one this morning. It's kind of funny. Uh, it was kind of a loose appointment. I'm very excited though about it because I've been talking to this guy over the last about three, four months. The dealership. Uh, this guy is in charge of payroll. He's the finance director, but he's also in charge of IT. They've been working with uh, this one firm in the area down in San Antonio. Uh, just having some problems. A lot of things have popped up. It's not integrating well with uh, I think their accounting software too because they have Reynolds and Reynolds for the DMS at the, firm, at the dealership. Uh, and the guy's in charge of both departments and he's just having a lot of headaches. So I finally got him back on the phone today. He's like, yeah man, I have a lot of things. Payroll's kicking me in the butt. Did you have your owner call me today at 1.30? So we weren't going, we couldn't get super into the nitty gritty about it. I looked them up. There are at least 20, 25 users. Uh, I don't know what the servers are looking like, but I'm hoping it's gonna be a very good conversation. I should have more information by the end of the day today to see how the appointment went and hopefully we can find a great follow-up process or maybe even with them or maybe take some of the headaches away from them. Uh, I, since he's the finance director, I'm expecting to at least get a rough number quote out there by the end of the day today, but I'll have more information hopefully by the end of the day once my client gets a call. Today I got an appointment for my client up in Winnipeg. It's with a trucking company. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it's about 10 users, but we were talking a little bit about responsiveness, kind of, you know, a little bit of the headaches they've been having, and they're open to a comparison. They haven't had a new IT company in 10, 15 years, so it's going to be an uphill battle, but I think we can do it. Looking forward. Sam, how many did you got today? I don't know. It, apparently, I can't. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. and a close deal. All right. All right, where do I start? I got a new deal today. 
with uh, a, another SEO company, Thinkments. They're out of Texas. We're going to target dental practices across the U.S. Super excited to work with this guy. Sounds like he knows what he's doing. We know what we're doing, so I think we're going to make a lot of money together. I got a deal that closed for my partner, ZZ Servers, who I just... Uh, transferred over to Whitney as I took my new job, but deal's still coming through for him. Closing assessment for $1,350. That'll lead to a man of service proposal, which highly likely would close. Probably would be around two or three grand a month. Um, and I got like 21 meters or something this month. I don't know what else you want from me. All right. So I got an appointment today for my client in Utah. It is with a city that is close by. It is uh, it's a pretty good one. It is with the city manager. It was like my fourth time trying to reach him. He picked up and uh, he's totally open to meeting. They're working with a break fix solution right now. They're about 15, 20 computers. Uh, they have two physical uh, servers and he's just open to meeting. Yeah, the appointment's set for next week and uh, we're gonna go out there and meet with him and uh, just see what we can do for him.